So, before the Reformation, the Catholic Church pretty much ran everything. This is during the time of the Renaissance and the Middle Ages. The Catholic Church was incredibly rich and incredibly powerful. They were the governing body for all of the land. They were run by the Pope, who lived in Rome. And then he was, in essence, kind of like the king of Europe, even though that wasn't really his title. And here's how it worked. All the kings would have to answer to the Catholic Church and the Pope because he had money and resources that your kingdom might need. If you went to war and you needed additional armies, you had to ask the Pope for help. If your land was in famine and didn't have enough money, you had to ask the Pope for help. So the church had a lot of power and it was in your best interest as a ruler to respect the church and to be willing to work with the church and do what they say. The church even had control over daily things, birth, death, marriages, baptisms, all these things happened within the church and were documented events according to the church. And they were in charge just as part of governing the land. They were also in charge of crimes and punishments in court. So if you did something that was considered illegal, then the church got to decide your punishment. They had all the power. I mean, just look at this church behind me here. This looks like a castle, and that's kind of the image that they were trying